Hi everyone, I'm Jay. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how I made this delicious steak and ale pie. I'll start off by making some short crust pastry. I'm using half the fat to flour. Here I have 340 grams of flour and I'm going to be using 170 grams of cold butter. I've chopped the butter into cubes just to make it easier to incorporate into the flour. Then I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I'm literally just pinching and rubbing the butter into the flour. I'm looking for a sandy crumb texture. So this is what I'm looking for, a nice crumbly sandy texture with all the butter incorporated into the flour. It takes a little while to get to this point. Now it's time to add the cold water. I'm using cold water straight from the fridge. I want enough to form a dough, not too sticky or wet, so I find it best just to add a little bit at a time. When there's enough water, I find it starts coming together with very little movement from me. Now that's done, I'll pop the pastry into the fridge to rest. I'll wrap it in cling film or a damp cloth is good so it doesn't dry out. Now I set about peeling and chopping one medium sized white onion. I'm not too fussy about the size because it will cook out at the end and I won't see it anyway. I do the same with a clove of garlic. I just roughly chop that as well. So I'll add one tablespoon of olive oil to my pan and I'll get that nice and hot and then add my onions. I just want to sweat them off until they're translucent. I'll just keep the onions moving under a medium heat. So after about 10 minutes of cooking my onions are nice and soft, I'll add the garlic. I let the garlic and onions cook together for a few minutes. I'm cooking them under a slow heat to release all that delicious flavour. Smells so good. Now that's done, I'll add my meat. I'm adding 400 grams of diced steak. Now I'll just mix the flavours from the garlic and onions into the steak. I'll throw in a few herbs. First I'll go in with a teaspoon of thyme, some white pepper, about a teaspoon of rosemary and some ground black pepper. Now I'll give that a good mix together. That, I'll add two heaped tablespoons of plain flour and I'm just going to cook the flour out a little under a low to medium heat. Now in goes my ale. I'll pour just enough to half cover the meat. I've added boiling water to one beef stock cube. I've got enough liquid now, just covering the meat. At this point, I do have the heat turned right up. I 
And now I'll add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. It's already starting to thicken a little. I'm going to turn the heat down low, stick the lid on, and I'll be back to check it every five minutes or so and give it a stir. This is about half an hour into the cooking time now. Still a long way to go and you can see that the onions are still floating on the top and it still looks kind of anemic looking. I've just given it a stir and I'll put the lid back on. So this is about an hour into the cooking time now and you can see the liquid is starting to get a bit darker. It's thickening nicely and I'm just going to leave that to cook some more. So after nearly two hours of slow cooking, the steak pieces are finally soft and tender. I don't know if you can see, but the pieces are starting to flake a little. The sauce is deliciously dark and thick, and I've not needed to add any more liquid, thickening agent or anything. I'll get this cooled down now so I can start making this pie. So I'm going to be making two small pies. I'll need a top and bottom for each, so I'll cut my pastry into fours. I'll heavily flour my surface and pin and get rolling. I make sure that the pastry is flush to the sides and corners and that there are no air pockets. I crack one egg into a bowl and beat with a fork. Now I load the pastry case with my steak and ale filling. Now I roll my lid. Before putting on the lid, I brush the sides and corners with the egg. I carefully tuck in and press all the sides and corners. I just scored the top with a small knife with a crisscross. Then I just use the knife to trim the excess pastry from the sides. I decided to crimp the edges on both pies and I've just literally I just pinched the pastry between my thumb and forefinger. Before baking at 180 Celsius in a preheated oven, I just brush both pies with the egg. As you can see, they're beautifully cooked after 35 minutes of baking.
I'll just crack this open. So there it is, delicious steak and L pie, tender pieces of beef steak in a flavoursome L sauce, wrapped in a melt in the mouth pastry. I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe, for more recipes like this, please like and subscribe, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.